it doesn't matter where I am in the world, I always hear it's not possible here. It's not possible to get a soil ecosystem functional. It's not possible to reduce inputs. So what I wanted to do is just share one example with you and I really encourage you to find more examples. It's interesting to see that parks in many ways have been behind the ball in terms of looking at really getting this biological community humming. And so I'm excited to be able to share this story with you about a friend of mine called Randy Booker. So Randy is based at the Otter Creek Golf Club down in Ontario. For 30 years, he's been a golf course supervisor. And in 2012, they began their transition to a biological approach. Back in 2012, in the bluegrass rough, they were mowing twice a week and there was a messy aftercut with clipping clumps that would sit around and wouldn't break down and would cause all sorts of issues. Just, you know, it's messy and it's going to get stuck in the mower. What's interesting is 10 years later that that bluegrass rough now is only being mown once a week, that we've got that control of excess growth as well. And they seldom find that they have any clipping mess that's clumping and causing issues for either aesthetics or people's experience of being on the golf course. So in 2012, they had two mowers and two people for four days. 10 years later, they only need one mower and one staff for four days. So as a result, they have halved their mowing expenditure. If you consider profitability and health, if you're interested in that part of the puzzle, pre-2015, they were spending $100,000 a year. That's fertilizer costs around $45,000 and pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, around $55,000 a year expenditure. In 2019, they were spending $45,000 total on inputs, around $30,000 on biologicals and trace elements, and about $15,000 on those pesticides and wetting agents. In 2022, the golf course was fungicide-free, except for some preventative use in snow mold, and early trials are showing that after three years of not using some fungicides, that snow mold hasn't been showing up, which is pretty exciting. What you can see is on the top part of the image that the green has been treated with trichoderma to control a fungal disease. So trichoderma is a specific fungal organism that eats bad fungi. It's a very specific one we can use to control different fungal diseases. Um, at the bottom of the image, you'll see that there are um, dollar spots and fungal diseases in the untreated area. So setting trials up like this is part of what's enabled them to be really successful and have the confidence to be able to move forward with some of their inputs. So overall, the benefits from a soils first uh, turf approach at Otter Creek has been more controlled and more consistent growth. They see good natural turf color and a reduction in pests, weeds and diseases with outstanding cost reductions. So if you talk to Randy Booker about the outcomes for him, they are seeing a dramatic reduction in the use or need of uh, labor, fuel, machine wear and tear without any difference in their turf quality and in some instances seeing better turf.